Hey guys, what's going on? I'm at the Caveman Q here again, Paleo Problem on Island, I'm at thecaveman.com. Today's question is, should you be worried about homocysteine? I'm the caveman. caveman. And the answer is, yeah, probably. But more in the sense of what can we actually do about making sure that our levels are intact. Now, I know what a bunch of you are thinking. What the hell is homocysteine? And that's a great question. So I promise I'll do my best to try and keep this brief, but here we go. Essentially, homocysteine is a non-protein amino acid that derives from methionine. Now, once homocysteine is created, it has two primary fates. It can get converted further into cysteine by way of vitamin B6, or it can get remethylated, having a methyl group reattached and become methionine again. The way that methyl group gets reattached is by way of vitamins B12 and vitamin B9, or folate. What happens is a methyl donor comes along, and along with vitamin B12, takes methyl tetrahydrofolate, converts it into tetrahydrofolate, and in that process, homocysteine gets reconverted back to methionine. Now, with the increased popularity of at-home genetic testing, that methyl tetrahydrofolate has become somewhat more well-known because of a genetic polymorphism, a variation known as the MTHF R variation, and otherwise known as the mother for mm-hmm. Yes, that one. MTHFR refers to the methyl tetrahydrofolate reductase, and there are variations on it that make it so you don't handle folate very well. Why is that a problem? Well, without folate, or B12 or B6 for that matter, you can have buildups of that homocysteine. Now, why is that a problem? Well, hyperhomocysteinemia, or elevated levels of homocysteine, are associated with increased levels of inflammation. They make your endothelial cells, the linings of your walls, more susceptible to oxidative stress or damage. In turn, a wide variety of potential health conditions can arise from those elevated homocysteine. We're looking at things like increased mental impairments, decreased cognitive functioning, seizures, strokes, cardiovascular disease, osteoporosis. Yeah, it's no good. And we've talked a bunch about why cholesterol is not the demon that we're looking for. We've talked about why it's part of your immune system. It's the fireman coming to put out the fire. Want to know what one of the biggest fires is? Yeah, you found it, homocysteine. Because like we've talked about before, those plaques are formed when cholesterol comes to deal with endothelial damage. And what did we just say homocysteine can do in elevation? Cause endothelial damage. So. This is one of those fires. So what can we do about elevated homocysteine? Well, as I mentioned before, deficiencies in vitamins B6, B12, and B9 are associated with elevated levels of homocysteine. And supplementation with it has shown reductions in homocysteine levels. However, to be clear, to date, the research does not indicate that reductions in homocysteine are associated with better outcomes, meaning you're not necessarily gonna get better from the disease. And this is a very big JLo size but. The key is that most of that data is being done epidemiologically. It would not be ethical to conduct randomized controlled trials in individuals with decreased levels of B6, B9, or B12 and elevated levels of homocysteine knowing that there is a relationship. As such, this is epidemiological research, meaning that we have associations seen in the general population We've talked about the problem with that before too. And the biggest one in this case is that, yes, we may be supplementing individuals with those, but are they dealing with the rest of the inflammatory sources in their body? Probably not. So making sure you're micronutrient sufficient, particularly in those three B vitamins is super important, but general reductions in inflammation is equally as important. From there, you may want to look at the methyl donors. So things like glycine, dimethylglycine, and trimethylglycine also known as betaine, so betaine HCL. But another one, creatine. What? That's right, we talked about it yesterday. What are the three component amino acids of creatine? Well, methionine, I think we talked about that in the beginning, glycine, pretty sure I just said that one, and arginine. Now, arginine, we haven't talked about that in this context. However, arginine is essential for the production of nitric oxide. And what is a common drug given to people who have heart conditions, nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin is basically a synthetic form of nitric oxide. But to really drive that point home, what is another common biomarker seen in patients who have elevated levels of homocysteine? That's right, decreased levels 
of protein. So your biggest takeaways are that, yeah, you probably should be concerned about your homocysteine. That being said, it doesn't mean that you should be stressing about it. What it does mean is focus on reducing your inflammation, focus on making sure you are micronutrient sufficient, particularly in B vitamins 6, 9, and 12. Consider getting in some creatine or otherwise betaine HCL. From there, reduce your inflammation. Avoid the grains, the legumes. Avoid the conventional dairy, the conventionally raised meats. Avoid processed foods. And consider supplementing with some natural anti-inflammatories like CBD, turmeric. Those are all going to be a great idea. And lastly, just remember that while cholesterol is the boogeyman we're all afraid of when it comes to heart disease, homocysteine is probably a better one. While cholesterol acts as a firefighter to put out the fires that homocysteine has caused. So just deal with the inflammation and make sure your level is all right. So either way though, guys, a lot longer than I wanted it to be, but you know, what can you do? Hopefully help you out. Either way, you know what to do. Like and subscribe down below. Share it with your friends. Head over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at Mike the Caveman over on Facebook at Paleo Problem Island and of course over at MikeTheCaveman.com. That being said, have a wonderful rest of your day. Don't stress about the homocysteine too much. Just do the right thing, please. And I'll see you tomorrow. And the answer is... Yeah, probably. Now, I'm the caveman.